Welcome everybody and thank you for tuning in tonight or streaming us on YouTube. I'm Jason Salas and this is a very extra special edition of KRM News Extra, so thank you for watching. We're going to give you an overview tonight of the 5th Annual Guam is Good Wine, Art and Food Festival, which happens this Friday at the Cars Plus showroom in Mighty. Now my good friend Jennifer Calvo Kirigua is the overall chairperson. And Jen, welcome back. Thank you. Now, now we've interviewed you and you and I have talked over the years and everything. This is the 5th one. Um, this year you are kind of taking the... Uh, bull by the horn, so to speak, and like arranging everything like that. But you know, wine, art, and food. It's a wonderful event um, all the way around. What is distinct about this year's festival? Um, well, as you mentioned, this is our fifth annual um, Guam is Good Wine, Food, and Art Festival. So this event um, showcases, um, you know, an amazing um, list of wines, um, tons of great food prepared by local restaurants, um, as well as a unique um, variety of artwork um, created by local business people artists, um, politicians, and, and other dignitaries. Well, clearly we have some with us right here. So um, tell us about some of the, these are just some of the many pieces that we'll feature um, this Friday, but what are some of these? Yes, um, this piece is created by uh, Victor Camacho, who's the executive director of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. That is beautiful. Yes, yeah, so this one is, um, I guess let me explain a little bit about the, you know, the concept behind the art. Um, the art show is, what we do is we select artists um, and ask them to do, I guess, their artistic interpretation of our slogan, Guam is good. Um, so every year we just get, you know, a, a diverse kind of selection of, of different pieces and, and interpretations. So um, as I mentioned, this is Vic Camacho's. Um, this he titled Sunset at, um, I think, Nana's and Tata. So this is kind of his childhood memory. I was going to say that I, I, I think I know exactly what beach that's from. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that brings back a lot of memories. Yeah. And, and of course, Guam is good is an interpretive thing, and it means different many things to many people, including the carabao. Right, right. And this is actually, I think, the first time that we've had a carabao. And this one is created by um, Ed Gaza, who's you know both an artist and a, a local business owner. Mm -hmm. um, this final piece we have um, is created by Mark Muir, who um, obviously has had some experience with the mosaic. So this is a stained glass piece, you know, um, in this beautiful wood. So he um, he did this interpretation of a, you know, a sunset scene. And Jen, I think that speaks to the range of the art that's being submitted and, and will be featured because, you know, we have here two pieces on canvas and then we have a piece on wood. Um, what, what types of mediums um, are being used as far as you know? Um, as far as I know, you know, we what we do is we give each artist a, a canvas. So kind of this 18 by 24 canvas. Some of them, you know, use the canvas, some of them do not. Um, you know, we have, I think, you know, the, you know, acrylic, there's glass, and I think also Crystal Paco from KUM submitted a piece. Mm -hmm. She did hers on wood, um, which is a three-dimensional piece, which used um, some string. So it's, you know, really pretty as well. So, I mean, the, the, like I said, it's just, a, you know, a great variety of um, interpretations mm -hmm. that, that we, you know, get to enjoy every year. Yeah, I'm going to stand up everybody from my teammate here at KUM News. Check out Crystal's piece. It is absolutely beautiful and very, very creative. So, yeah. um, so what else has gone into the, uh, into the planning? Because this is a monstrous event to put right. together. I mean, and, and again, you've done it for the good of the community. It's raising money for the Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation, named after your late grandfather. And it goes to benefit uh, local cancer patients as well as their families. Right. So, so what we have planned for the evening, um, you know, just to, to give a little history, this started out as a wine tasting and, you know, silent auction or you know, art show. But, um, you know, after the first two years, it was just basically a huge party. So we decided to change the name, you know, to, to the Wine, Food and Art Festival. Um, you know, like I said, I think we have seven different restaurants um, that are, uh, will be preparing the food for the evening. We have, you know, the, the art um, auction going on all evening and then um, Island Wines and Spirits and, and mid will be providing, um, I think they'll have stations next to each, um, each restaurant's table, uh, you know, with their wine. So it's, a, you know, a fun evening. There's, you know, we'll have a, you know, a photo booth, you know, also a great entertainment. Um, from Three Little Birds, so you know it's just a really great time for, for a worthy cause. And they played here on Live Local Fridays in this very studio, and they were absolutely amazing. Yeah. Their harmonies are out of this world. Yeah. Okay, so the Cars Plus showroom in Mighty is the very generous and hospitable host. Um, I'm sure it's going to be standing room only, so how can people get tickets? Um, tickets are available at um, MWR, ITT, um, Cars Plus, and then also at the Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation in Mighty. So the event is this Friday, March 15th. Um, that's from 6 to 10 in the Cars Plus showroom. Mm. And if people would like to find out more about the foundation, um, they can go to your Facebook page. Yes, the Facebook page and then also our website, um, guamisgood.org. Okay, so is there anything else you'd like to add about who, uh, who's participating, who's contributing? Um, no, I think you all covered it. Okay. I, think, you know, I, I can actually, I guess, mention some of the other artists just to... Sure, to yeah, real quick, okay. you can go through Yeah, it. we have um, uh, Miss Guam World, Chanel Jarrett. We also have Senator Tommy Morrison. Um, John Tuck, um, and we also 
have Mayor Ken Joada. Okay, so that's going to be March 20th, everybody. Please make sure to check out the Guam is Good Wine, Art, and Food Festival. Jen has done some amazing work there, as have all of the members of the Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation. So congratulations once again to you and your family for putting a, an amazing event together. And can't wait for it. Thank you. All right. Please stay tuned, everybody. More is coming up. This is going to be an amazing show, so please stay tuned.